going on everybody what's going on howdy howdy good morning beautiful day beautiful day lots of good things happening the truckers have made a very big win on their own they have been able to uh back down the the mandates the vax tax and some others there's a lot of really they, they won they, they had a big win there's a big win on the truckers they even police and officials tried to get certain tow truck companies to go in there and move the trucks and they turned them down um they even said that uh, that what they done is and this is like sort of a throw off because when they called the tow truck companies to move the trucks they they, they were like nope we can't because we've got the the c word <laughs> i think that's the funniest thing in the world because you know goodwill what they were talking about so so they call the tow truck companies to move the 75,000 vehicles or 100,000 vehicles or how many trucks they are they don't understand the logistics behind that there's no way physically possible you could do that in within any time frame of effectiveness but just to throw off, tow, uh, towing companies in Alberta, Canada reportedly refused the request from Royal Canadian Mounted Police to assist the removal of trucks from uh, Cops Port and entry of north side of the Alberta-Montana border. The, the A. Martins from the Exodus Car Transport, who also offers towing service, told the Western Standard, we are here with our trucks at a blockade. We are participating in full support of the truckers. One of the most largest towing companies in the area already said they don't want to get involved. <laughs> Authorities searching for tow truck companies to assist the removal of trucks. Counts border blockades are coming up and empty handed. A Western Standard spoke with a number uh, of tow truck companies in southern Alberta, including a Calgary, Lethbridge, and uh, uh, I'm not going to pronounce this right, Medicine Hat. Okay. Citywide Towing Company Calgary said they are tow trucks that are blockaded yesterday to help support anyone in need, but confirmed no trucks stayed on the scene. Our trucks won't be able to head outside of Calgary, said all century employees at Citywide who do not want to give her name. <laughs> uh, we will remain in Calgary to service the surrounding area. TNT Towing and Lutheridge is one of the most to largest towing companies in the area. When contacted, the person who answered the phone said they had no comment but did indicate that it had been contacted. <laughs> and we know, we didn't know it was that, who, who was that called, but we don't want to get involved. She won't be com common. This is all what's quoted. One smaller towing company in Southern Alberta was approached by supply tow trucks said they are stuck between a rock and a hard place. We have created a relationship with our community and contracts that would be in jeopardy if we participate in any way, said a worker at the towing company who asked to remain anonymous and avoid any negative response to his company. <laughs> You know what this is, man. This is what I'm saying. Power to the people. This is what it's all about right here. All you have to do is peacefully disobey, uh, patriotically, peacefully protest in a, in, a, in, a, in a way that, you know, you just show flex of force. You know, say, for instance, in my field of work, if we all decide not to work on certain people's vehicles, we can do that. That can be done. Uh, a lot of these sim smaller companies don't want to ruin their reputation with the communities they serve, so they don't want to get involved. He said, we have received calls here to supply trucks, but we also have also calls from locals who won't identify themselves asking if we plan to send trucks. When I told them, no, they said, we'll, we, we'll keep supporting you. And so, uh, like say, uh, he t uh, one, like I say, one woman said, uh, uh, he told me the mayor of Ottawa called tow truck companies uh, to start towing semis out of the streets, every company said, but they have COVID. The woman said it. <laughs> so yeah, if if, uh, if what's his name can uh, can do that, if what's his name can, oh Justin Trudeau, Trudeau, uh, uh, true, uh, so, uh, it, it, if he can run off and say some mess like that, then we can too. And if they don't like it, they can lump it. They can learn. We, we if you want to say anything, we learn it from watching you. So thank you very much for tuning in. I stand 100 percent with the truckers. That's a big win, and I can't wait to see the lineup coming in, in America because I'll be cheering them on 100 percent. Thank you very very much. Lots of love to everybody. Please check us out at Fox and Archibald Show on This Way Network. Check out Shannon at Devoted Patriots. He's my, he's he's awesome 100 percent. Y'all are great. I'm gonna get on the side. I'm out. Bye.